to do vlog. No, I mean, yeah. Me and Mum are on the way to London. <laughs> We're going to a concert. Can't put that on the stage. <laughs> You've got sunglasses on. Yeah, but you could yeah. take them off. I don't take them off. Well, that's up to you. It's sunny out. You should be holding this because the lighting's coming from that way. Is that a better angle for you? Yeah, it is a better angle. Oh, yeah. It's anyway, big scene. Do you see it? You've got to not whisper it. I <laughs> think <laughs> keep it top secret. Oh, right. <laughs> it's hot. It's from the 80s, if you didn't know. Well, it's just a zoom in of your face. I'm not even in oh, it. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. oh, but you're a bit shaky there, aren't you? I'm not used to doing this. Anyway. <laughs> what should I say like now? What should I say now? Um, There's so many funny things that happen that we can't <laughs> talk about. What should we just say, Aisha? Obviously, we're on the train. Okay, yeah. Ten pages. Oh, I look bad. <laughs> you don't look. Oh. I've got the sushi. Huh? I haven't done my hair. My hair was wet when you left home. You just need to like. I oh, know. I can't do it on the train. I mean, I don't know. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they are apartments. Abstract. No, they are apartments. Um, artwork. Or something. I just said they're apartments. Yeah. People live in them. Anyway, we will continue vlogging once I've had some food because I'm starving and once we've actually got some kind of further. <laughs> Can you just hold this for a minute? Put your hands on the camera now. Oh, God. It's like that. Sure. <laughs> See you at the concert. Well, my hair will be hopefully better than this. <laughs> I'm going to just stick that in. Are you going to have your sunglasses on at the concert? Yeah, I am. <laughs> when we went to see um, Elton John, I bought the right glasses. Because these are my long distance ones, I like to wear these the whole time. I know, it was so funny. I wasn't oh, there most of the videos so, and it was so highly embarrassing. Amazing. Okay, me and Mum are in the Uber now. Which I'm was trying cold to walk on air. Do you feel like it's more zhuzh? Not really, because it is more zhuzh. It is more zhuzh, but it's gone a bit funny. But anyway, I don't think it has. We're here. Where we? Oh, we're here. We're here. Oh, we're here. I get out your side, obviously. Oh, don't matter. Just let me get out this side. Thank you very much. Yep, you're welcome, dear. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. You too. <laughs> This is Cynthia, my partner for 35 years. And I just wanted to tell you something about since we're going to go for a while. I'm going to get up on the chair, not down on the floor. Because if I get on the floor, I'm never going to get up. I just want to ask you, were you married? skincare before bed and yes i am wearing a winnie the pooh nighty rehash on the concert great time great to be at my mum and spend some quality time with her 
um but the stuff on the train i don't know if i mentioned in the on the train clip i think i did that there was something weird going on basically this woman opposite me she kept moving her bag underneath where i was my feet were basically so she kept giving me evil eyes and i just was like honey you're the one moving the bag closer to my feet and then next to her opposite mum was this guy who got on the train like one of the last couple of stops before victoria and um he was like he had a guitar with him and he also had in foil seven slices of pizza he proceeded to eat every single one of them in the most disgusting vile way you can imagine anyone in public eating anything it was gross i'm talking noises mouth movements the whole shebang it was really gross and it got to the point where me and mum were looking at each other trying not to laugh and be obvious because it's rude but then we're thinking well actually you're the one being eating like really stinky food on a public train you know who's in the wrong here so it became funny <laughs> mum said to me great i'm gonna smell a pizza now but um yeah it was it was funny but it was gross at the time also i was starving on the train because i hadn't had dinner i'm thinking i'm half disgusted by watching the way you eat this pizza but half thinking i wish i had some pizza right now um but the concert itself was the concert itself was good however i'd already seen that artist alexander o'neill once before about five years ago with mum in a different venue and obviously he was younger then so it was much better he was able to do more he did all of his songs whereas this time he was 70 70 years old but you could see he was struggling he was kind of too old um so i'm glad that i saw him when he was younger even though it was only five years ago he still did seem much better condition he also proposed his partner of 35 37 years something like that which is really nice however when i was coming out of the venue i was thinking about it and then i overheard some other couple talking about it and they were basically saying that he had gone on wife swap with this woman like i don't know five years ago maybe 10 years ago something like that um probably more like 10 years ago actually and i had actually seen that episode i remember seeing it so I mean, fair enough, they may not have been married and they've just gone on wife swap as like his partner. But she was wearing a white dress, but then she looked surprised to be asked that, to be married. I don't know. Seemed a bit staged to me, but either way, that's nice for them. I've got three favourite songs by him and one of them he didn't do, which is a bit sad, but you know, it is what it is. It's more of a harder song to sing, like it's more of a ballad and requires more effort. So if he's struggling anyway, I'm just trying applying my last bit of skincare. This is a Sarah Chapman skinesis overnight facial this is honestly the nicest product ever i think i've spoken about it before on the channel i love it but yeah as i was coming out the venue i also saw this woman in front of me was really dancing having a great time seems to be loving it i saw her send a video to a friend on a text message and then the person replied i mean i'm saying a friend i don't know who it was but she sent a video to someone of the concert and the person replied saying oh that looks great have a great time looks fabulous looks so much fun you know something like that the woman in front of me who'd sent the video then replied saying he is shit too old that's it really blunt and i just thought wow that's so rude because he's performing giving it his best and you're just telling him he's basically shit i mean she's not wrong he was too old um but i wouldn't go as far as saying he is shit you know that's a bit much but yeah so i had a good time but i'm glad that i saw him like five or so years ago when he was a bit younger and a bit more agile shall we say he was literally leaning against a chair the whole performance so yeah he did loads of songs so why would you not do your three best-selling songs why would you leave one of those out you can't be that sick and tired of it because you did the other ones i don't know anyway it was nice to spend time with my mum anyway my skincare is all done i'm going to get into bed now and watch the rest of the vlog in the background. I actually hate vlogging on this phone. Not only is the quality really bad. Look at all these. Anyone else get that? Um, not only is the quality really bad, I look, you know, the lighting's not great. Um, I forget to press record. I just think it's recording. We must get the camera fixed. Anyway, so the reason I am vlogging today is because I'm working from home and it's my lunch break and I thought I would get a head start on a bit of a DIY project. Lewis says wait till the weekend, I say, you know, early bird catches the worm, although it's lunchtime. So I'm getting a bit of a head start. If you saw the that kind of moving vlog where Amy showed you a lot of the house um, and she came over, you would have seen I have cabinets in my living room area. 
basically what I want is cabinet at the bottom, open shelves. So I'm hoping that by the end of this video it will all be done because it should be a very cheap and quick DIY because all I need to do is fill holes, sand, paint and do the panelling and change the door handles. And we've got a lot of the materials already and the only things we need to buy, it's only going to be about £20 um, and I want it done. <laughs> I'm not the most patient. Lewis's way, I say no. So I'm getting a head start on it. I'm going to show you the process and hopefully, oh my gorgeous lamp, and hopefully it'll look good. It will at least look better than the yellowy dated cupboards that were there is what I'm hoping. It can't look worse. So this is what the current situation is. I've just got a vlog on. Um, so you can see the vibe. Open cabinets at the bottom. Um, and then open shelves. Not with rubbish on though. It'll have all nice decor pieces. Um, yeah, so this is it. And then I'll show you once I've updated. But I need to sort out all of that. Basically. Fun for me. Hello everyone. So I'm not going to lie to you. It's a couple of days later. <laughs> um... God, I look a mess. I've just got back from the gym, but I wanted to give you an update on the cupboards. Don't mind YouTube. So, this styling isn't how it will be because this is just what I happen to have. <laughs> I don't want these vogues out. I just think they're not the vibe. Um, yeah, none of this is really the vibe. Can I zoom out? There we go. Um, I do like this photo that I'll probably say in the artwork as well, which I love. That will probably stay. As you can see, we've started panelling, but um, we just did, in a way, to try and save on the amount of panelling we have to buy, because these are about five or eight, so it does add up. Um, we're going to need to cut some bits to go there and down the bottom, and then one last bit. We've got one more strip of panelling to cut, which I'm hoping Lewis will do tonight, but just for, like, time reference... It is the England match tonight, so kind of a big deal. I'm not gonna lie, I do like watching the England matches myself. Well, not that bothered. Like, I'd rather do the cupboard, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I'm not sure if he'll help me tonight, but fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, that is the update on the cupboards. It's just a work from home day to day. I kind of like it that looks. I mean, if my laptop and stuff isn't there, so much nicer. But yeah, it's just a word from home day to me. I've literally just got back from the gym there because it was my lunch break. And I thought I would give you a little update. Also, those flowers and those, but mainly those ones because I've had those for like two weeks. They're from Waitrose. They were given to me by a friend who I work with for like saying like congrats or whatever on the new house. They last in so well. And I'm crap at watering stuff. Not that you're meant to like rewater flowers, but you're meant to like change the water. I don't and they've lasted really well. Um, but yeah, that's the only update I've got for you. I feel like, was this here? This mirror is not staying here. This is a mirror that I had at my dad's house. Um, it's massive and I love it because of that, but it's not staying um, here. It will go upstairs, but for now it's hiding a multitude of sins. And then this, which you'll notice behind me, um, there's a leg missing there, we need to put that back in. This was actually my grandparents' bureau, and then it was also my parents, then it's been at my aunt's house, and now it's here. I don't know if this will stay here. I think probably when that mirror goes upstairs, it will go here. But for now, it's there, and it works. Um, yeah, there's not many other updates, although today I have been... That looks like such a mess. If my dad's all that, I'd be ashamed. I have been... Um, there were some, like, curtain poles here, so I took them off, um, and I've sand them down and filled them and I sand them again and paint them um that's the only other update I've got and the same with there were some curtain pole holes upstairs as well I've done that as well because our curtains got taken away yesterday to be um like hemmed I think because they're just a bit long um so my mum kind of came and got them but yeah that's really the only house updates I have for you and I thought I would do them whilst dressed like this for some reason I don't know but I'm hoping the cupboards to be completely finished well they will be because if not i will go mad i want them done by friday but that means he has to sort them out which isn't gonna happen i don't think so maybe saturday either way that it's getting done this week and then i think i'm also going to tackle the front garden because there's a massive hydrangea bush in our front garden so when that blooms that's going to be gorgeous but currently there's a lot of weeds and rubbish 
that just needs to go a bit like the back garden. The back garden's nothing has really happened with since you last saw, although apparently we've got good weather this weekend. It's boiling today. I was so hot today walking in and out of the gym. We've got good weather, which means the decking can get ripped up. So that would be lovely because I want that rotted decking just to go. I just want a nice blank canvas and I want to start potting plants or put them in the soil, whatever you say, call it. And I want to buy a nice sofa for the garden. That's what I want to do. That's it. Oh my gosh. I've got an update for you. Hold on. Let me take you upstairs because then I need to actually shower and fake tan because it's Thursday. Fake tan Thursday. Um, and show you my new final face at Marker Face because they are great. So I don't know if I showed you upstairs with Amy last week, but I got these, um, I think they're called like stag bedside tables off of Face at Marketplace last Saturday. Um, and I love them. They've got a few scratches you can see there, but we can fill that in. But you won't believe the price, really? I'll tell you. Everyone guess in the comments. 70 pounds for both. So that's 35 pound best on the table. I don't care if there's a scratch on them. I'd pay more in Ikea for a piece of plastic. And these are really good quality wood. And they go really well, I think. Don't mind our dogs. <laughs> don't mind our dogs. Don't mind our teddies on the bed. Um, when I have cushions and styling stuff, they won't go there. Or well, maybe they'll go there, but they'll be a bit hidden by the cushions. Because I've just been looking on Cotswold Company. And I've found a bunch of cushions I like. I've ordered kind of like a summer throw like a linen -y muslin type throw off of H&M Homes. So that's going to come soon. But yeah, obviously we need like lamps that match. I don't know whether to go back to TK Maxx and try and get a matching Ralph Lauren lamp or like go for something different. I'm not sure. I always wanted dark bedside table lamps, but now that we have the dark drawers, I feel like maybe we should go for light. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, but yeah let me know what you think and then obviously we want to get not obviously but we want to get some art for above the bed i don't know what because we like getting like original paintings like actual real paintings we don't really like prints and ideally we'd like it to be like significant to us we both really like landscapes something like that but then we go to a lot of antique places i said we go to a lot of, i drag lewis to a lot of antique places and i find big like and I find art pieces there, like those art pieces in the living room, they're from an antiques fair and super cheap and affordable. So if I could find something for the like space, the fit was nice, I would totally do that and it would probably be a bargain. That fan, don't get me started on. It's annoying. But yeah. Oh, and our bed, by the way, because I don't know if that was here. I feel like that was here when you came, when Amy came, but I don't think we showed you. Upstairs, I don't think for some reason. Um... This is just from dusk. This was like, I think it was £299 exactly. Um, and it's a king size bed. And I think it just goes in the space perfectly. It's an Ottoman bed. We really wanted an Ottoman bed because just the extra storage it gives you in terms of like me. Like I'm someone who has to swap out my summer and winter wardrobe. I have vacuum pack bags, multiple ones of my wardrobes, of my clothes. And yeah, it's just handy to have. Especially like this is only a two bedroom house. So, and although like our loft is converted, it's not like considered a room and I personally don't consider it a room. So although we have that extra storage there, I still feel like having extra storage is needed. If like this wasn't our first home and it was like a big family home, I'd probably have gone for like a nice wooden bed or maybe like a four poster. But this I think is just beautiful and it works really well in the space. I don't think I'll show you this. So this is another one of my antique finds. Ignore this mirror. This will be going uh, this weekend. It needs to go to my dad's house. He lives there. But yeah, ignore that. <laughs> um, so this will just be here on its own in this space. And this was £110. I think it's Georgian maybe, but it's gorgeous. Um, and I got it from an antiques fair. And I absolutely love it. Our perfume's looking a little bit cluttered. And then probably what will go here, honestly, is a telly. I know that that's not the most attractive thing to put here. Like, it would be nice to have art or shelves or whatever. But practically speaking, although me and Lewis obviously have our own living room and we watch TV downstairs, we don't sit up here and really watch TV. But we are people that like to fall asleep with the telly on. Um, and we do like to watch TV in bed, you know, sometimes in the morning. Like, it's just nice to... 
put on a bit of, you know, James Martin and watch that in bed. Sue us. And then I picked these up just to put on our wardrobe. So I'm giving you like a full bedroom tour or update because it's not done yet. These originally I was going to rip out. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of ugly. However, now living in the space for a few weeks, they are very practical. So I think Lewis made this suggestion. It's a very good one. What we're going to do is just change the doors and make it so they're like um, plain, simple doors with like paneling on because I just think this looks very cheap. Um, and then also change the handles. Now, we're not probably going to be doing that for a long time, maybe not even this year. Um, so I thought something to just make them look a bit less cheap for now would be change the handles to these. So I got these, which were only like £13 in B&Q. And I thought, simple, easy job. I can do this myself. But no, like everything in this house, like it's so bodged. Like that screw is impossible to get off where he's painted it on. So... Lewis is like, oh, it's easy, you just screw it. So I'm going to leave that for him at the weekend because I'm torn between just, like, yanking them off and just sticking them on with, like, no nails because I, and not screwing them on, which I know people are probably going to think that's mental, but I just cannot be bothered with the f hassle. Um, and then if we come out here, living room, living room, and then if we come out here... And then if we come into this room, this is just like the spare room, which is going to be like long term be the office slash dressing room. As you can see, this is like probably our least done space. Um, I don't feel like we will make much progress in here until autumn, winter time, to be honest, because I'm quite happy working. Although I work from home three to four days a week, I'm quite happy doing it at the dining table. It'll be when Lewis... Um, goes to work from home as well soon that we will need a second desk space um, especially because his job is very much he's on the phone he's doing a lot of meetings whereas mine's much more quiet I can be downstairs um, so he will have a desk in here uh, I have been looking and I have seen one I like on Cotswold Company of course which is very expensive so I'm hoping that Lewis might be able to like help me upcycle something and then these will probably be Ikea packs but we're making bougie, as most people do. Please ignore the washing I need to do. So yeah, that is the upstairs kind of house tour and house updates for you. By the end of this video, we will have those cupboards finished and I'll show you the finished result. I've done a Zara order and a H&M order of home bits and also clothes. So if you're missing clothes, like me, um, that will be coming. Probably not in this video, but maybe next next video so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that i don't know what amy's up to it's so funny like not living together now like obviously she comes over but yeah it's weird so it's quite nice to watch like her parts of the vlogs um and see what she's up to so do let me know if you kind of like let me and amy both know if you like this kind of split vlogging in the videos where it's like go goes to her and then goes to me or if you only really want us to vlog when we're together. Or option C, if you'd rather like we do separate videos but on the same channel. So like one week, well not one week, but like one video will be her and then one video will be me. Let us know, please. Because the feedback is appreciated. But anyway, I'm going to go shower now because I'm a sweaty mess. And then probably fake down. This is really gorgeous. However, I do want to say it's quite expensive and I've only faked hand twice out of that. Once was with one layer and the second time was with two layers. So it doesn't last. So I think I probably will be going back to my Molly May, I'm not going to lie, because that is like a fan favourite, but I will be fake tanning after my shower. Still coming. So update on cupboards. Lewis did do 
the sawing and stick the panelling on for me. Those actually the shirts behind, don't mind, I need to iron those. I've started painting it, so that is that is all going. Ahead, um, I just need to paint one more cupboard door and then the handles need to go on all done. Perfect. I'm tempted just to glue them because I'm impatient, but Lewis is like, no, we will drill them. We just need to get the drill for my dad because my dad has the right drill or something. I don't know. But yeah, I've been to Homestead and I spent a small fortune. No one talks about how expensive it is to do your house up. I'm not even doing it up. I'm just buying, like I've literally just bought accessories for my house, like styling pieces, because I thought, yes, I want to wait for the antiques there. Also that's the end of August. I'm not that patient, I just, I need stuff. So, bit of a boring practical purchase. First thing I got, some hangers. These are so expensive. We got the same pack the other week and I swear they weren't this much. These were $7.99 for um, 25 hangers. I do prefer like the wooden hangers, but these are just so much more practical. Things don't slip off and you can fit a lot more in. So I got those. I also got a couple really gorgeous frames. I got this one, which is so cute and completely goes with our vibe. And then I also got this one, which I thought looked really luxe. So I got this gold trim um, and kind of linen. I don't know if you can see, but I think that's nice. I'm gonna put a photo, I think, of um, me and Lewis and his brother and sister-in-law. Um, we all went to Barbados end of last year. So if you know, I think I mentioned before, or Amy has, that I went to Barbados last year and that's who we went with. Um, and at the minute, it's really bad. The only photos in the house are of me and Lewis or me and my family. So I need to get some up of Lewis. I do say to him like, any photos? <laughs> He's just like, mm. I don't know why boys are like this. But I just got those. Honestly, I could have bought so many more. I feel like the last, there's a flat in this kitchen, it's really annoying me. And I can see a smear. I've cleaned all the windows inside and out today so that I can reach. And I can see a smear, which is really annoying, as well as that fire. We should have to ignore that background noise for the fire. But yeah, no, the photo frames and the candle, the photo frames and the candle in my local home sense, honestly have been atrocious for like months and they had so many nice ones today. I could have bought so many more, I had to stop myself because I was spending so much money. Um, and then I've got a couple of candles. Now the way I justified this, because homesets have definitely put their price up on candles, is because I was going to buy a £40 candle from the white company last night. The temptation is still there, I'm not going to lie, because they do just always look beautiful and smell really nice. Because um, they've got their sound on, so I'm like, oh, well, it's not 60 £40, reasonable, but then I'm like, I've had this, um, the signature size, oak moss gorgeous by the way it was a present and i was saving it for the new house and i've had it since burning since we got here and we've not even been in the house in a month and there's not that much left so i feel like that's not that much burning time i know i do have it on most evenings but still like i don't know i just feel like i get more out of other type of candles so i got this one which is kind of like a tealy bluey green which is completely my vibe and this is indigo cotton oh here we go this is why i like it warm musk love that vanilla love that jasmine apparently like that white cotton and sheer butter these are all things i love no wonder i like this so this is only like a small one wick now these used to be like five six nine nine 9.99 does smell really it smells really gorgeous and fresh it reminds me of my mum i don't know why it reminds me of my mum i really like it i don't know what what room this is going to go in but this reminds me of like a moisturizer that my mum would have used this will make you laugh as well. The reason I popped the shots is because it's my dad's birthday in a few days. And so far, all I've got him is a bottle of whiskey. So I don't find dad so hard to buy for. I don't know what I thought I was going to find for him in bloody home sense, but I don't know. Oh well, I will have to try again later. Um, and then this was the, the other counter I got. This was 14 99 but this is three wicks. So this is a big boy. And this really reminds me of the Diptyque fig something like the look of that it's whiskey leather i really southern california i think that's the brand i'm not sure it looks like that the branding these lids i always just get rid of because i think they're so annoying honestly i wish you could smell that it just smells so like masky and lovely i think this will potentially go maybe on the shelves i'm not sure 
it'll go somewhere. It'll, all our house is green throughout it. Um, I want to keep this tissue paper. Is that really bad? My nan used to do that. I think my dad's mum used to like save and wrap it in the tissue paper, and I've turned into that. <laughs> I do that now. I notice. Um, also, does anyone else find that when they go home sense and I say, "Oh, could I please have just some tissue paper for like the fragile items?" They look at you like you've asked for their first one, and I'm like. I just don't want my stuff to smash. So this item, I'm not too sure if I'll keep this. But I got it because I thought it was a bit of a steal because they had a few of them. Oh, that noise is probably quite annoying. Um, so yeah, they had a few of these and they were all $14.99 except for this one had a $9.99 sticker in it. So I got it. I have no clue what this is for. Maybe you put juice in it, like whisk, I don't, I don't know. But I really wanted like um, a nice blue and white ginger jar. This isn't really a ginger jar because it's not, not the right shape. I mean, maybe it is a ginger jar, I don't know. But um, I just like the colours and the vibe. It reminded me of my Ralph Lauren home um, lamp. But yeah, this is 9.99. I'm not sure if I'll keep this. I've got the receipt, but I'm meant to be on HomeSense again next week with my mum. So if I don't like it, I can always take it by then. And the final thing I got was just another storage basket for under the sink. I've got one I could do with another. This was only £3.99. So I didn't get a lot and I spent like £60. And like I told you the other day, I've just made a bizarre order, so something's gonna have to give. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's bizarre stuff. I'm converted to the home my life. But yeah. That was everything I got. Hope you enjoyed. And I will show you the cupboards when they're done. I'll do like a little transformation. Hello everyone, welcome back. I am aware that I have changed colour. I feel very foul and now I'm quite red because I've got a lot of excellence come up. I've also been very tanned in the last clip. A few days since then, since I did that little home sense haul, got a hair mask in and my pyjamas on, hence I'm not panning down. There you go. Um, but I just wanted to show you, to finish off this vlog, I just wanted to show you the finished cupboards. So hopefully Amy can insert a before photo here. Okay. And now this is the after. Ta-da! Now it's not perfect, but it's not bad considering we did it ourselves. Now obviously, if we didn't weren't on a budget, we would get the shelves redone. Because you can see there's a bit of a curve there, and that's glass randomly and I'd get them done properly. But considering they were that horrible, yellowy, gross, dated colour, um, I'm really happy with them. There we go, zoom out a bit there. We just got the panel in from b and They were five pound per bit of panel in, or bead in, whatever you want to call it. And I got five, I bought five in total, I think. So 25 quid. So not a completely cheap DIY sort of redo but not really expensive. And then the handles I ordered off of Amazon, you got a pack of, I think eight or nine, um, and they were a tenner. So I've got lots left over, so I will probably use them on like drawers or something like that. And then all of the stuff that's, these need to be styled properly because it's a bit too, 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 too for me. I want different layers, but I don't have enough stuff for styling. Like ideally I wouldn't have these Vogue magazines here because I just don't think they go. I'd have some nice coffee table books or some antique books, but I need to get to antiques. Um, I actually went back to Home Sense yesterday um, to return the storage box I showed you because it didn't fit. And they didn't have anything. All I got was a pair of gardening gloves and some soap. So, yeah. But just a bit of an update. So, that was obviously my Home Sense I showed you the other day. That frame is also from Home Sense, Primark, Antiques Fair, Soho Home, Home Sense, Home Sense, Antiques Fair. That little bud of ours, I don't know where that's from, I haven't got that. And then these easels, which I actually have a third one of, they are from Zara Home. So that is it. Yes, yeah, so, oh, you can get a nice view of the house here. All in all, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I just wanted to kind of finish this vlog here by showing you what it looks like. As you can see, there is still a lot to be done in the house. Um, I mean, today I was looking at gravel exciting the garden you don't even want to see i will do a garden transformation video i think or at least include it in the vlog because we've been in here for three weeks i think three weeks tomorrow we've had the keys but like we've been sleeping here from three weeks friday because it's currently wednesday 
um yeah so not that long and i do feel like we have kind of done a lot but in terms of the garden there's a lot to be done and i feel like this time next month is going to look completely different at least i hope so anyway so i will show you that when that is done because i want to get out there and enjoy it like it's a really lovely evening but i'll be honest i don't want to go out there right now because it's just a mess so yeah that is everything thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i will see you in the next one with more house updates if you enjoy it please do let me know in the comments if you enjoy these home videos i really enjoy making them because i just love my house basically i think it's fab even with the shit garden <laughs> all right see you in the next one bye